Hi everyone, Libra Anarchy. Responding to this video that's been going around, Facebook parenting for a troubled teen. If you hear Skype sounds, I do apologize if I get a call in the middle of this video. I apologize and you won't see it anyways. Well, never mind. There we go, Skype noise. Um, so, first of all, yeah, let me... I You may be a, a tyrant. I don't know. Your daughter may be a brat. I don't know. I don't know the situation and I don't care. I will comment on things that I think I do know. Your reaction was extremely disproportional to the offense. Did it ever occur to you to take the laptop for a time and make her do things to earn back the hundred and thirty dollars or take it back until she finds a job or take it back until she fulfills a particular list of requirements or something of that nature or to simply take it away for a period of time a week a month six months whatever whatever you think is appropriate before you destroyed it I mean before you just completely wasted it she said something offensive to you whether it was right or wrong, I don't know. She used words that were offensive to you. Uh, she was speaking in a way that I would expect you believe is a highly irresponsible fashion. But the new went and destroyed a laptop. Completely disproportional to the situation. If a co-worker, if your wife, if a friend, if a friendly acquaintance, if a stranger in the store, if somebody from um, a different political party says something to, to you or about you that you don't like, what do you do? What if somebody, wherever you work or something, backstabs you? What do you do? Do you talk to them and say, what's going on? Or do you go destroy the things? What are you teaching your daughter by destroying things as a re response to offensive speech? Personally, I think there's a bigger issue here, and I think what you're preparing her for is a world where if her boyfriend, if her husband, if the government, if, if her boss, if a bully says, says uh, if a bully, etc., thinks that she has spoken up for herself, whether, she, whether she, the things she says are right or, or, or not, then they get the right to destroy her things. She does not have freedom of speech. You're not teaching her responsibility for what she says. You're teaching her that she cannot say what she wants. You are training her to be a servant. I mean, you, you may pay her for chores in ways that are not monetary. That's not my issue. I'm not talking about that. Uh, you, you may not treat her like a slave in that respect. I don't know. But with respect to smashing her laptop for offensive speech, oh yeah. And then what happens when you say something offensive? What happens when you are brutally honest and very politically incorrect because you feel it is absolutely necessary to lay your cards out on the table, to lay out the facts? Do I get to destroy your things if I'm offended? Well, what makes you so special, huh? Here's a thought. If you want to teach your daughter to speak responsibly, sit her down, read what she wrote to her, and ask her to justify her points. Not in some sort of intimidating way where, you know, you're cracking your knuckles saying, well, justify your points because, you know, you're damned if you do, damned if you don't, and something bad is going to happen, whatever you do. You better not say something I don't like, but, oh, you better justify your points, but you better not say something I don't... No. Really, honestly, sincerely, listen to her. And if she's in the wrong, she's going to be put on the spot. 
And she's going to learn, hey, I'm going to get really embarrassed if I say things that aren't true. I'm going to get really embarrassed if I don't think critically. I'm going to get really embarrassed if I speak in anger before I think. Of course, if she's right, maybe listen to her. Just a thought. I don't know one way or another. I'm not there. And I'm not here to make judgments on who's right. I don't care. But, yeah. Completely disproportional. And you're, you're not teaching her to speak responsibly. You're teaching her to be cowed by authority and to not speak. And it's very sad. But I do, but I do wish everyone on both on all sides of the situation the best. I really do. And um, there's something else too. Yeah, I do hope that you're a troll. There is that possibility too that I'm being taken in by a troll. And I hope that you are. Hope it's a fake laptop. Hope you're not wasting things. Okay. Well, I will see you guys later. And uh, know thyself.